welcome back guys thank you so much for watching my uh, videos in the playlist Prashant Reni Guntala here and uh, in this video you'd learn about dynamic search ads and um, this is a playlist completely for Google AdWords training so in case you're interested in learning complete Google AdWords training I would recommend you to watch the first video until the end of the last video in the playlist I bet you don't have to go to any institute in case you're planning to join or learn digital marketing training or AdWords training watch these videos and then go learn them in real time you don't go to any institute to learn these stuff you're wasting your time wasting your money if you're doing that learn these stuff and then to work upon real-time accounts and practical experience that's when you go uh, and learn from a mentor or an institute thank you so much and let's jump right into learn about these things so dynamic search ads is one amazing feature where the purpose of dynamic ads is to drive traffic to the website so uh, generally we create so many campaigns to show our ads to people when they're searching on google.com and other search partners they click on the ad and they come to the site our intention is to bring people and convert them but when you're creating dynamic search ads the objective of this campaign is to drive people your job is not to bring people and then those people will go on to your uh, you know you know purchase or, or complete the conversion right no you may have a backup plan see I tell you many have a marketing plan only if you have a follow plan right so here we're not talking about the follow plan we're not talking about the remarketing stuff the objective is to bring people to the site so that you'll have a lot of tra traffic to your site so but Prashant this is this is possible for those people who have a lot of pages right so if you have a lot of pages on your website and and you want to drive traffic to your site you can do this but Prashant I have a lot of pages to my uh, on my website but it is practically impossible for me to create an ad for each page you don't have to do that that is why we call it dynamic search ads right so let's jump right in and we understand the technical features and why people do that so yeah so I create one new campaign here so how to create a new campaign you click on the plus symbol here and you have a new uh, uh, option called plus new campaign and here we have something called website traffic remember the purpose of dynamic search ads is to drive traffic so I select the search network campaign and here it is asking me to give the website which I will not do that I will give the website when I'm creating an ad so you give it you don't give it that is secondary but I don't want to give it here so I click on continue and uh, once I click on continue it will take me to the next page like you all know so here I am creating something called dynamic search ad testing it is asking me hey which network you want I think you're already aware about the, the, the campaign level settings so I don't want to show my ads and search partners neither I want search or display network if I want to get a display network campaign I will create a separate campaign it is never recommended to target both search and display network in the same campaign remember right you have you have advanced settings I click on that one start date and date campaign URL options you will learn that here this is the place where you use the tracking templates and the value track parameters and you have any custom parameters uh, I will create a separate video there but remember I, told, I, I spoke about dynamic search ads you see here dynamic search ad settings so generally when you create a campaign you don't give this option but this is specifically a dynamic search ad campaign I will go and give the uh, I select the option it's asking me to give the name of the website so what I do is I give the name of the website here and imagine I give it something like just dial.com it's not my website I'm just giving a random website and here it's asking me hey just dial has lot of pages remember lot of pages if you can uh, zoom in dynamic search ads target relevant searches automatically based on website right remember one thing when you create a normal campaign you have to write a text ad and you have to write keywords and when search term of the user matches with keyword then your keyword will trigger the ad to auction correct so the normal search network campaign keywords are the targeting method but when you come to dynamic search ads which is this campaign you create ads I mean you don't even create the ad system will automatically create the ad you have to write description I will show that but here you don't write keywords dynamic search ads does not work with keywords you don't write keywords now Prashant how will the ad appear normal campaign search term of the user matches with keyword my ad will go to the auction but here you are telling me that you don't have keywords you don't have to write keywords yes you don't have to write keywords here dynamic search ads work this way when search term of the user matches with the website's content that is why to create a dynamic search ad your site should have lot of pages not just lot of pages your site should be indexed or the pages on your site should be indexed right now here saying targets relevant searches automatically based on your website then use headlines automatically customized to people's actual searches right yeah so when I get this website it's asking me hey I am going to create the ads for you correct I am going to create the ads for you and the reason why I am doing this because you are telling me you want traffic 
So you want to use the Google's index of my website. So if you have 100 pages and all 100 pages are indexed, then Google will create ads when people search on Google and their search term matches with the content of the indexed page. Remember, site has to have pages, lot of pages and pages need to be indexed. And for those pages which are indexed, Google will create the ads. Or you can say, no, 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 all pages are indexed. I have 1000 pages, all 1000 pages are indexed, but I don't want those 1000 pages. I want only particular pages which I recommend or which I tell you. So you can create a data feed and you can upload that data feed, right? How do you upload the data feed? I think you might be aware, you click on here, you go to business data and you can upload a feed with all the URLs and you can use that particular URLs and, and the feed here. So when people search something and that search term matches with the content of the URLs that you specified in the business data, only then Google will create the ad. Or you can see both my fields. So I go with the first option and it's asking me location. I think you might already be aware. So you select the language, English is there, audiences, I'm not going to choose that. So I give maybe $100 and bidding again, I want to pay per click. So I give here pay per click and what's the maximum? So I say 50 cents per click. And uh, you might already be aware conversion settings. And uh, I'll speak on this. This is the particular setting that I would create one particular video on this. Right now, I don't want to emphasize more on that. So uh, let's ignore that for a moment. Ad schedule, you can schedule the ads all day, cycling extension, you might be aware of all these things. So I click on search and con uh, save and continue. When I click on save and continue guys, here is, a, here, you see, it's dynamic. So I told you, don't write keywords. The search term of the user matches with the content of the web page. So what Google does is, a dynamic ad group consists of dynamic search ads set of related dynamic ad targets. Most relevant traffic to your design set of Web pages defined. So what system is doing is it went through the entire Jesdialka site and it got me all the categories. So it's showing me categories so I can choose any category. So when I choose a category called Toembatur, so this is what is called dynamic ad target. So what system does is whenever people search something and their search term matches with the content and that content or the page falls in the, this category, only then Google will create the ad. So I say no, no, let it be all categories. Or you can choose specific web pages as well. Right? You can give the URLs. So when people search something and their search term matches with the content and that URL should be this. You can do that or you can see all web pages. So I go with all web pages. So up to you. If you want to create or drive traffic to particular category of pages. So what you can do is create rules to target a particular category here. For example, I want to drive traffic to a sports category. You can choose sports or particular web pages. You can do that. But I go with all web pages. So I choose all web pages and I click on continue. So I created the campaign. I created the ad group and I selected the dynamic ad target where I have the option to choose a target category of particular web pages or all pages. Now when I come here, you see, it is not allowing me to choose the final URL which I already gave. It is not allowing me to create the headline. It is allowing me to create display URL or description, sorry. So what I have to do is I have to give description and the titles are automatically generated based on the user search term and the content that match the user search term. Normal campaign, you have to give headline one, headline two, headline three. You give it manually, but your system automatically does that. All you have to do is you have to give a description. But remember, when you give a description, your description has to be very generic, right? So if system creates an ad for one content and your description is completely different, that means your title is something else and your description is something else. That is why system recommends or Google recommends you to write description which fits with any content or any headline that is created from your site. For example, for Jezreel, what they can do is they can write India's largest South Indian uh, directory or India's largest business directory or your search ends here because whatever content comes and sits there this description will automatically get synced right so this is how you create dynamic search chart remember guys you can't write keywords but you have to write negative keywords negative keywords are a way to protect your money or to save you from getting irrelevant clicks and impressions you can't write keywords but you can write negative keywords next note after you get clicks and impressions because your objective is to drive traffic, you can have search term data and based on that, if you think you're getting some irrelevant search terms and you're getting clicks for that, you're wasting money, you can put them as negative keywords. So you can find search term data and you can find and write negative keywords as well. So this is how you create a dynamic search ad campaign. Remember, you, you work with dynamic ad targets, not keywords. You can choose a category, you can choose specific web pages or you can choose all website. The search term of the user matches with the content of the web page and that web page should be part of that category or should be part of the specific URL 
or belong to any page but remember to go with this your site should be indexed only then google will be able to create the ad right so you can play around with these things the objective is to drive traffic right thank you so much continue to watch my other videos practically work on them and you have to work on campaigns which literally invest lakhs and crores for that you have to go to an institute or somebody who can really give access and teach you into your time you don't go to learn these things in institutes you waste your time if you do this remember i am teaching everything for free in case you want to go beyond and learn some great advanced strategies in real time then you can go through my website prashanthrenigunteller.com i'd be more than happy to teach you one on one thank you so much and i would see you with another video thank you